Si jadi pemawar maka dan hi hi jadi pemawar maka dan hi hi jadi pema kawal kawal ah ber In April 2022, I went bushwalking in Green Island with two Aboriginal men. A couple of our trees that we utilize within this area. Okay, so we got our black palm right here. Alright, there's black palm. We can use the husk for our fires. Uh, we can use the tree for fish prongs as well. Anything that goes onto our fish spears. Beach almond we use as some of the fruits. We've also got the um, pandamus palm that we have in the background over there. Pandamus palms we use for our bunda, which is our grass skirts. Uh, we also use them for weaving. Some of the ladies, they'll take those branches or those leaves and use it for some of the weaving in those areas. I learned about community and culture. We have a really big osprey who lives up in the trees just up here. Um, He's not there at the moment, but that osprey we leave up there, we've named them. One we've named Buri and the other one we've named Bana. So fire and water. Coexisting with nature. Water. Fire plays a very important part. What happens is when we're a young baby, we get taken to our elders, and then our elders, they pass us around the fire while warming their, their hands. When they warm their hands, they then place their hands onto that young child's body, so either onto the head, or to the chest, onto the arms, and what they're doing is physically placing the warmth of the fire into their body, and they're initially starting their first spiritual journey with their elders. How women know and share the secrets of natural contraceptives. That's our beach hibiscus tree that makes our fire is this tree right here. All right. So the way that we identify this tree and we're looking at this tree, we're looking at its heart-shaped leaves, okay? We've got a large one, which is on the bottom, then we have a medium one, just a little bit smaller than that, and then we have another smaller one than that as well. The smaller one's used as a contraceptive for our women, all right? And the medium one and the large one are used for our digestive systems as well. So because it's seen as women's business, men don't really know a lot about the actual um, process of how they break it down for you. That's seen more as women's business than to men. Circular lifestyle. They're really big leaves, really broad leaves. Yeah, these ones, these, these ones here. Yes, yeah, so these are our bleeding heart trees, all right? So these ones here that we're looking at. So the way we get that bleeding heart is because of that kind of heart shaped leaf. Okay, and then these little veins here, they run red when they're growing. And also the stem will run a little bit reddy purple kind of a color. So we get that bleeding heart. So we use these for cups. So what we'll do is we'll yep. actually fold them in on itself. Yeah. And we'll use it for a cup. Yep. Or what we'll do is we'll get a lot of food and the bigger leaves. And then we'll actually just wrap our food. Over. So you don't use plastic, right? No, no, so plastic. Much, no plastic. Yes, yes, all this natural, way better. Can oh, decompose. All degrade, biodegradable. Biodegradable. Yeah. That's yeah. right. So yeah. once we're done with it, we can just chuck it back. Yeah, into the bush and, and it then it returns becomes to fertilizer. That's right. That's yeah. right. We're all about um, if we're taking something and we're going to throw it away, we've yep. got to make sure that's all natural. It's reusable. Oh, right. Right. So just like with these leaves here, uh, nothing will go to waste. So this mm. will be our kind of our table or you know a little table plate that we'll put down yeah all the food that we eat mm. on top of it we'll yep. use every part of it and yep. then we'll throw the waste away that will then go to either some other little invertebrates that are running around or other little animals and they'll eat them as well sure. and we go to war yeah and we actually get a wound what yep. we do is go to that tree yeah and we scar it get the sap that runs out of it and then yep. we pack that into our womb yeah. Into, the, into the wound and then it actually stops the blood. So it's yeah. kind of an antiseptic or yeah. anticoagulant? Yeah. Anti yeah. Stops. Stops. Yeah. Stops. Anti yeah. 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 Anticoagulant. Yeah. yeah. So just like um, 
you know, with a like a snake bite. Yep. When they get bit, oh. then the blood starts to harden up, stops. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so same like that as well. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a name for the traditional medicine? Like, you know, the tr- what would you call the traditional medicines or the doctor? Yeah. Do you so have a name for the doctor? Your like, doctor is pretty much just our medicine man. Just yeah, the medicine, just a man. medicine man. Oh, okay. Pretty okay. much. Yeah. yeah. We um, do, but they come under different language groups. Oh, yeah. different tribes different will have tribe, different, different names. Have different okay. Names for okay. their either lawmen, medicine man, oh, okay. or just your normal um, leader who sings all the songs. They yep. have different yeah. names. But when you go traditionally as a leader, your leaders are Nalans. Okay, yeah, so Nalan. Yeah, Nalan will be your leader. And where, and like, Kamna is like your older uncle, but yeah, 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 yeah. And do you yeah. have a name for the place where you all congregate? Like, like the Maori would say Marai, yeah, or yeah, the, the yeah. Polynesians would say Fale. Yeah. So yeah. for the place where you all get together, depending do, on where the area is, yeah, uh, could be different meanings as okay. well. So yeah. when we have a general. Um, gathering of everybody yeah uh, say for instance we use one of our ones now that we use um, which is a modern more modern term is like Boriguman Boriguman is like one fire okay so meaning like one fire is one mob will mm. come together okay yes and we'll yeah. say something like that then. okay or, and galing, uh, Boriguman, yeah which means everyone come together as one fire okay what do you call the grass skirt what's so the traditional one, this, name uh, bunda, bunda, bunda bunda is your yeah, grass bunda. skirt this one okay. here so this is a bunda, this comes off of that tree, so if you'd yeah. like to have, mm-hmm. a, have yeah. a feel. So that's from the hibiscus tree? That's from the hibiscus tree. Very so, strong, yeah, this yeah is very strong, very mm. strong grass. Yeah. And we'll actually use this for our ropes as well. Mm. Yep. So for our Nawi Yugalka, for our turtle spears, yeah. we'll use that rope okay. as well. Nawi Yugalka. Okay. So mm. also with this tree here, yep. we get our, so our grass goes, but we also get our fish spear, which is our Guyu Galka. That we asked you about earlier to repeat. Yeah. So Guyu is the fish. Guyu Galka is the, so that's a spear. The spear Galka. Okay. Guyu yeah. Galka. Mm. So right now we get this. So that's our bunda, our yeah. grass skirt. Yeah. That's one thing that we can get from the tree. Right. Okay. This yeah. helps us with our traditional dress costume. Traditional costume and makeup. Hmm. So yeah. these are our cooked sticks. Yep. Okay. Like we were saying earlier, we'll get. A sapling that yep. grows up the side of that tree really nice and straight cut it to about half a meter and then about 30 centimeters for the base so your drill stick is a little bit skinnier and then your base is a little bit thicker but it also has a couple more features on it mm-hmm. okay so these little holes here or these little grooves here now we're very superstitious people we believe that if you stick your finger into one of these holes it will bring bad luck okay. or you can't start a fire or rain might come all right so we try not to stick our fingers into the hole. Knowledge handed down from generation to generation. Practices that we use, medicines that we use, paints that we use, even food that we use and eat comes down to trial and error. Okay, so all those years ago, all those yeah. generations ago, all that knowledge that's handed down to us, that's how we know which tree to use, which tree not to use. Um, and it's a pretty common question, believe it or not. A lot of people ask us, like, how do you know all of this information? It's like, well, that's the trial and yeah. error from our yes. ancestors and that knowledge being passed down to us. Australian Aboriginal culture is the oldest continuous living culture in the world. Aboriginal art, crafts and fashion are a force to reckon with. Amanda Healy, founder Kirikin Australia, is a well-known first Australian fashion designer. Stay tuned for the upcoming video to know more about Amanda's stunning work.
sword us will actually start to appear around the lip okay of the cookle sticks that's what you want okay we're looking for that indication of that sawdust building up around there once you see that sawdust building up you'll start to see it change color and it'll start to go from a lighter color and it'll start getting the smoke darker and darker okay so, so the you smoke like to have smoke a feel, has, don't yeah. press too hard. So you see that dust there? Yeah. Dust? Yeah. 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 Normally that coconut husk will make that um, insulated. Yeah. 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 And then what happens from all that sawdust there, yeah. right? Yeah. Is it'll start to slowly go blacker and blacker in shade. Yeah. And then eventually you'll start to get a hot ember. Yep. Oh, I right. just wanted to know both your names, if you could just yeah. while you know your names and what does it your traditional names? Yeah. And what does it first yours? What's uh, so it? I, my name's Isaac. Um, yeah. Uh, my traditional name is Minguru. Yeah. Uh, translate to night curlew. All right. Night. Curlew. Oh, okay. So the one that goes. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I get it. The the bird. Yes. yes that's it. Wonderful. Yeah. And which tribe? Uh, so I'm from Yirin, uh, Yirinji here, uh, from Yirinji clan. I'm from uh, Wajimbara and Bindabara. Um, yep. And uh, my grandfather's side, I come from Nawaji, which okay. is near Ingham. Okay, wonderful. Good to meet you and also yourself. Myself, my name is uh, Jirchi Meringi. Jirchi Meringi means first sunlight or first emerging sunlight. Yes. So my name comes from a long line of my grandfather's. So mm -hmm. um, about my great 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 grandfather was named Jirchu and then he had a brother as well which is uh, Mandi Jima so my brother is named after him as well yeah. um, translating to first sunlight so a long time ago there was an eruption out in the sea yep. and then all of that plume of smoke went up into the air mm -hmm. and then it was kind of blacked out here for a while uh, within Australia and then once they seen that first bit of light pierce through the cloud they called Jiri and then that's where my name comes from now, Jirichu Marin, which is the first emerging sunlight. Wonderful. So my clan is uh, Gimwe Wallabra Yirinji, which is in Cairns there, yep. on my grand grandfather's side. And then on my grandmother's side, which is Kungai. So Kunganji, which is over into Yaruba. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. How do I say thank you? Uh, we don't really have uh, anything thank you. for thank you. No, no, because <laughs> we, we just say thank you. We just say thank you, yeah. Um, because we're seeing. Uh, we don't really have a lot of possessions mm. yeah. um, within mm. Aboriginal culture. Yeah. Yep. Um, so it's all mm. bartering and trading. Yes. It's not mm. really one thing belong to Too myself. Much. It mm. pretty much belong to everybody. Um, so we don't really have that possessional over items and stuff like that or material things. Yeah, it's good not yeah. to have possessions. That's right. Possessions that's creating problems. That's right. <laughs> they, they create that divide then yeah. as well, you know. Yeah. We didn't even say goodbye. Uh, so we believe that goodbye yeah. means when you're going. In, uh, Strong belief in afterlife. That goodbye there is not for long again because yep. we'll mm -hmm. see them into the next In the next well. birth, that's yes. Right. Yes. It's only a cycle. That's Isn't right. it? Mm. That's right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's why we have a lot of totems. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Um, totems. Yeah. So our belief is like when you pass on, you yeah. will come back as, as a either. turtle. Your totem that yep. you that you have been given. Yeah. Or your name. We're here on Wunyami, which is Green Island. So you can come and check us out on this island here. We have tours that go all day on the hour. First one starts at 9.45 and then on the hour throughout the whole day. Uh, if the last boat leaves at 4.30, our last tour is at 3 o'clock. Uh, so if you'd like, come down and check either myself out, Isaac or Blake, and we'll happily take you on a tour and learn about the spirituality of this place.